Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 4. I am Bobby Aziota, and we've just received a phone call from Roman. He's been whispering, it sounds like he needs our help, so we are on our way to go and rescue him. So, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode. This is exactly what I just said. We're recording, and Roman should be right over here, right where this little waypoint marker is, and we're here. Crime and Punishment. Where are you, Roman? Psst, Nico! <laughs> Roman, what are you doing in the dumpster, man? Are they there? What are you talking about? Get out of there, man! I'm freaking out, man! I'm being followed! I saw them! Don't be ridiculous! You're being paranoid! I'm be- Fuck you! Fuck you! Everything was fine, <laughs> and then you show up! And now we're dead! Because Felston is a psychopath! He's going to kill us! Because we killed Vlad! Vlad was his man! That's how it works! You kill their guy, they kill you! Roman, get out of there, man. Listen to me. Vlad was a piece of trash. They don't care about him. All they care about is making money. So, we say we work for them. Now get out of there. You smell like cabbage. I don't want to, man. I'm shitting myself. Oh! Get out of the dumpster, Mr. Fat Man. Come on, Fatty. The boss wants a little chat. <laughs> we had to gag him to stop the screaming. You shouldn't have brought them here, Andre. Why not? You've been a bad boy, Mr. Balkan. And the boss is not happy. Oh no, I <laughs> shit my pants. Not yet, but you will. Who are you working for? Uh, my cousin, Roman. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. That's not good enough. I'm gonna saw off your fucking arm! Speak! Okay, okay. You're dead like sit up the ass. What do you want me to say, huh? <laughs> Very funny. Do you think you're so smart? No! I'm tied up in the basement a long way from home. But some ape threatens me with a hacksaw. So no, I'm not that smart. Shut the fuck up! My fucking wife is watching television! <laughs> Good lord. What are you doing? Nothing. Uh, I mean, I was finding out who he is. And? Who is he? He is his cousin. You were about to cut up some guy in my house, making all that noise to find out he's his cousin. Where did you find this idiot? He was a friend of your sergeant when we were in Vladivostok. He's an imbecile. So, Nico Belli, you think it's okay to kill my employees? If he is an asshole, yes. Do it! Oh. I agree. <laughs> asshole, look at me like I'm a piece of shit. Boy. Now listen, Nico Belli. You are very lucky what was an idiot. The only reason I keep him around is because I fucked his sister. Look at me. You owe me. I got some dickheads in my neighborhood trying to run a shipman, yeah? And we found a buyer for the TVs. Yes, a buyer. But you got to get them for us so we can make the sale. Can you untie Roman? Хорошо. Help! Shut up, Help! Roman. Help! Roman, shut up! Help! Shut up, Help! Shut up Help! Roman! Help! Shut up! Help! Shut up! Roman, shut up! Fuck! Oh! Shut up! 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 Oh
Stop shooting people, you maniac! My wife doesn't like when people shout. Whatever! You better get those screams soon! Or I will personally pull your cousin's stitches out, one by one, and watch his guts spill onto the floor. Clean this shit up! Listen, we'll take care of your cousin, but you better get the police car. And then you call me. Roman, Roman. Go, go, go. I, I'll take care of him. Fuck! So we need to get a cop car here, and this is not good. What's happened is Roman has been shot in the stomach. So, uh, yeah, we need to grab a cop car, and I'm going to run down here. And uh, there's one coming right now, so if I stand out in the street, I might be able to grab it. So, uh, let's see, where are they going? Down here? Let's see where the cops are going. Well, ain't that perfect timing. Cop car is... It's as if it's waiting for me. Alright, I got it. Let's see what they have to say. I had the police car. What now? The van is driving around South Broker. Pull it over, take it to our lockup on Duke's Drive. Be more specific. How many vans do you think there are in South Broker? That is a problem for you and your cousin, not me. Keep pulling vans over until you find the TVs. Goodbye. So we need to start pulling over some vans. Problem is, the vans are not exactly in the direction that I know where they're at. So I guess we just gotta keep driving around until we find them. It might be beneficial to me to take this route over here. And uh, okay, so there's a van, looks like it's coming this way. Is it coming this way? Uh, yeah. So, they gonna pull over or what? Oh, wait, I gotta approach the driver's window. So, uh, let's see. Come out and don't try nothing. I ain't got nothing. You wasting your time. What you got back there? TVs? Show me. <laughs> You're gonna be disappointed. Nishta, yeah, big guy. Well, looks like that wasn't the guy. We gotta go after the second truck now, which, uh, is back this way. Is that another cop car? Do not want. What happens if you hit a cop car with another cop car? I don't even want to attempt it. So, uh, because of the fact that I don't want to attempt it, I am not going to. So, uh, if I go this way, come around here, maybe I'll be, uh, slightly. S oh! That was not good. See, I didn't want to hit that cop car, but I also didn't want to get hit. So, let's see, where's this cop at? He over here? He's up here. Here we go. We got him. We're gonna get him. Alright, Van, pull over. Let's see what this guy says. It's definitely gonna be the third get one. Out. It always it's is. No funny business. You're making a mistake. We're paying protection money to Kenny Petrovic. Are you carrying a shipment of TVs? Big fucking mistake. Wrong move, asshole. Oh. So we gotta steal this van here. Now the cops are after us, which is not good. So, come on, get out of here. Get out of here, move, come on. What are you doing? See, I seriously thought that it would take to the third van, but instead they gave it to us in the second van, which is uh, good and bad at the same time. Good because, you know, it, you know, it's quicker. Bad because, uh, well, I can't really think of a bad reason. Other than the fact that vans are not made to be driven on the, uh, the grass like how I was driving. it. So, hopefully, if I drive down here and then make a wild left turn at the next intersection, which is right here, I can lose the cops. And, uh, hopefully, I will lose the cops is what I'm trying to say. So, good. Now we gotta go to the lockup, which is which direction? This direction? Okay, good. It's back. Hey, look, it's one of those, uh, things. So, you know, I think I might speed this up, and, uh, so I'll see you when we're back at the lockup.
All right, so we're close up back to the lockup right now. Looks like it should be just pulling right in here. And we are good. Sweet. I like how Nico jumped out of the van when the van was uh, still moving. All right, looks like that mission's done. We didn't get any money for it, but that's fine. So I'm just going to stand around and see if he calls anyone, and uh, we'll see what happens here. I've left the van where you say. How's Roman? He's okay. A little scarred, but okay. You did good. Mikhail needs someone like you. Stop by and see him sometime. So, I guess right now we just gotta wait for the next mission. And uh, I don't want this episode to drag on super, super long because I'm trying to make them a little bit shorter than the way they were. So, uh, we'll see what happens. And hopefully, it won't take too long for me to get to the next one. Nico, hello. Roman, are you alright? I was just shot in the stomach and then stitched up in the doctor's office that was dirty and in the basement when they were tortured him. Doing great! You sound calm, actually. That Dimitri guy gave me some painkillers. I'm kind of out of it. If you're near a shop, can you pick up some adult diapers for me? See you later, Nico. So he's called us, and we gotta go all the way down here to uh, Faustin's place. And so, to make this one simpler, I actually will cut instead of speeding it up. So I'll see you when we get there. So we're almost back here to Faustin's place. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the car. Run over here, and we begin the mission. Do you have protection? Hey, Nico. Hey. Come in. Thank you. Lay off that stuff. Why? Because it clouds your judgment. Not now, it's not the time. My judgment. That's a good one. I'm a fool. Drunken fool. Nico's here. We're going to go take care of that guy. I take it you won't be joining us? Make him suffer. People forget pain so quickly. You need to calm down with that stuff. Calm? Why? So I can be like you, Mr. Babichit? Always so fucked up on painkillers? You don't give a shit? You need to calm down. <laughs> Where would we be now if I was calm like you? Let me guess. In a prison camp in Siberia, or selling hash to tourists in Red Square, or still in the Navy. Which is it today? Be careful, Dimitri. Be fucking careful. You be careful. You're getting crazy. That's the way it works. I am angry. You are calm. I scare you reason. It works. Yes, but you've angered the wrong people. Too many bodies, too much attention will be dealt with if we don't start playing by the rules. I've angered people. Me? Not me. Strange. When I give out the money, it's us. When I have to push people, it's me. All alone. Don't think I cannot see through you. After all we've done together. You're getting delusional. Look, we have to go. I fucking love you. Yes, yes. I fucking love you. I know. Yes. But you treat me like a child. I run things my way. Dimitri Raskolov, my fucking way! Get out of my sight! Or I fucking kill you! 
I'm not saying don't run things your way. I'm saying be calm. Here. Take a couple of these. What are you still doing here? I said get out of my sight! So at least we've determined that Faustin is completely insane. And now we have to take Dimitri to the sex shop in Beach. And he didn't cut Mikhail in. At least he could have done is sent over some tapes. You know how much money there is in selling this stuff online? A whole fucking heap. We're going to ignore what Mikhail said and try not to kill them. Taking a bite of this pie would be very profitable for our operation. I got no problem with sparing some lives. No, it's Mikhail that has that issue. Can't keep his finger off of the triggers. Wasn't always like this, though. Things got to him. I hope it don't get to me. Okay, we're almost here now. If I can ever drive around these people. Hit the curb, hit the thing, and we're here! Yay! Enter the shop. Alright, whatever you say. Just a good thing the shop is, uh, it's right over here. So, we're now in the shop. Where's your boss? What do you mean? He's, uh... In the back? No, 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 he's... You better not be filming. Uh, no, they're just having a meeting, I swear. Get out of the way! <clears throat> Fuck. You see? They don't make them like that no more. That's a vintage bush. If it wasn't for that, I'd say this weren't worth transferring to DVD. Hey, Joseph! You think you can expand your business interests, make these pornos and sell them, whoa, and whoa, we won't whoa. know about it, we huh? We was just waiting until the huh? books were closed at the end huh? of the financial year. Then we was gonna cut you Your in. books are closed until you pay us our cut. Nico, take this and cover Joseph. We ain't making that much cash. It's not... Listen, big guy, you got a great look going on. Real strong. We can push on one of our films. Shoot this scumbag in the leg. Hey, man, please... <laughs> all right, all right already. Brett was just trying to be friendly. Shit, he'll be out of action for a couple of weeks. You got some money for Mr. Faustin? Fine, here you go. We ain't gonna have the resource... You should have thought of that earlier. I'm special. I'm gonna be a star. I like how there's blood, like right there on the couch. This is a mess. Let's get out of here. All right. Guess we gotta leave. So all we did was shoot a guy in the leg. So that really uh, didn't accomplish anything that we were actually trying to do. I don't think. Oh, it's getting nighttime. Now we gotta take Dimitri to the gun store, which is, I guess, is a good thing since uh, oh, going the wrong direction. That's never good. Love it how the people go running, you know. It up and put a pretty bow on it. Screw you! We're seeing a friend of mine who's got a good line of weapons. It's on the ground. Yeah, I like how that person just got hit by a car. There are a few around the city. The mayor has a real hard on for gun control. Guns don't seem that controlled. I seen plenty, and I just got here. And now you'll know where to get them for yourself. What's the problem? It's funny when he made the joke about the present because it's almost Christmas. Joseph. We will make more money with him alive. Sure, Mikhail. Mikhail. Fuck. You're lucky. Roman don't try to make you kill someone every two seconds. Christmas comes but once a year. We're almost there. God, this is a very long drive. Taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay, we're almost here. Don't worry, we're almost there. You have arrived. The shop is just down that alleyway. Pick out what you like. Tell them to put it on Mr. Faustin's account. So we get to have a free gun of any kind. We can buy weapons from different gun stores. Oh, okay, that's good to know. All right, you don't look like a cop. Buy what you want. So we can buy anything. Is that what they're saying? Cool. So is everything free or is our first purchase free? Oh, we have to get the micro SMG. Alright. I'll examine this weapon. 
Looks pretty nice. And uh I'll take buy it. this one. Charge Mr. Faustin. You fucking Ruskies are milking me dry. Sweet, cow. that didn't cost I us a single rush. cent. So now that we got that, I think we're good. Drive us to Mr. Faustin's. Where is Mr. Faustin? We gotta go back? Man, we were just from there. Hopefully it's not too far a drive. I hope not. So you and Mr. Faustin. Have you always argued and made up like this? It wasn't always like this. Mikhail was a great man. He had a temper, but he was fair. Now he blows his top at the slightest thing. I never know who he will shoot, who he will stab. Andre, who you met in Mikhail's basement. He was always loyal. He was a good worker. Now he's dead. I guess that, that is why we need him. Remind Faustin of that. Maybe then he will not try to kill me. Thank you for your help, Nico. Come to see us at the club soon. Mikhail will be cool by then. All right. So that's about that. And all I got to say is thank you all so much for watching. This episode was kind of, kind of drawn out through uh, what what's the right word to use through uh, me me not knowing what I'm talking about. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave it a like, because likes are always appreciated. If you want to see more, please subscribe. In the next episode, we will look at that text mes message that we received. We will also go try to tackle that little Jacob mission that popped up, as well as next Boston mission. I am Bobby Iziota, and I will see you next time.